guys, Noelle here and I am back with another look and another haircut. How you doing? So I just thought that I would mention that first, you know, I just popped back on here. I had hair one day and the next day it was gone. I decided to big chop my hair. I was just kind of over my hair. So now that it's short, I am going to be like kind of playing around with my hair on my channel. So if you guys are interested in seeing some like T-W-W-W-W-A styling videos, <laughs> Let me know down below and that stands for like teeny weeny 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 afro cuz a girl ain't got no hair Okay, so I wanted to do a look more inspired by the holidays It's November now and we're definitely getting close to Thanksgiving So I wanted to do a look that you could definitely wear for that holiday when I think of Thanksgiving I think of like cranberries and browns and that's kind of what I put together in this look for you guys I did try a nude lip with this look and I wasn't feeling it I definitely think that brown is more like hey it's Thanksgiving girl take some of this brown lipstick and cranberry eyeshadow with your turkey you definitely need cranberry eyeshadow with your turkey so this look is perfect I hope you guys enjoy the look I hope that you enjoy the video and if you do definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in a second barefaced so we can start this look so we're gonna start off with moisturizer and I'm gonna use my Neutrogena deep moisture day cream and this has SPF 20 in it sunscreen is very very important for anti-aging not trying to age out here so I will take a little sunscreen in my lotion so for primer today, I'm gonna to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love that it doesn't leave your face super matte. All it does is just simply allow for a really smooth base for your foundation. On top of that, I'm gonna put a little bit of my MAC Strobe Cream, and this is just for a little added hydration. Just to smooth out my pores a little bit in the center of my face, I'm gonna take my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And this just fills in all my pores and fine lines. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows off camera with my MAC Dip Down Fluid Line. So I'm gonna fill them in and I'll be right back. Before I put my foundation on, I'm gonna go ahead and color correct. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that underneath my eyes, my mustache, just around the mouth. And I'm just blending this out with my Beauty Blender. I feel like I put too much. <laughs> Look like a tomato. <laughs> Please, Heavenly Father, let my foundation cover this mess. Okay, hurry up, let's go, foundation. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, and please let this cover Snapchat tomato filter that I've applied on my face. Beauty Blender, take the wheel. I'm gonna use my Sephora Bright Future Serum Concealer. I have really been liking it. Uh, the only thing that I am gonna complain about is the applicator. I don't think that enough product comes out on it, but I really do like the finish of the concealer. And this is in shade number 15. But I have to constantly dip it back in to get the product out. I don't know if, if it's like just mine or what, but And since the foundation came off so red on me, that's why I used this really yellow-based concealer. Because I felt like it was just going to kind of even out my skin tone. Setting everything with my Sasha Buttercup Powder. I'm taking it on top of my eyes and underneath my brow to set the concealer that I put in those areas. And I'm going to dust off this excess powder and then I'm going to take the Sasha buttercup powder on that same brush and I am going to use this to set the rest of my face I'm patting pressing in and then I'm swiping it away then I set it with um, the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep on top of it just to kind of bring my skin tone back, you know what I mean? Because it leaves a little bit of a yellow, pale cast. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our eyes. I am gonna put a little bit more of that Sasha Buttercup underneath. This is just to catch any fallout that happens from the shadow. I'm gonna be dipping into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm showing it to you like this because the other side is a hot mess. So I'm first dipping into the colors Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna. I'm taking that from the outer edge of my crease, above the crease and over to the brow, to the inner part of the brow over here. Ooh, excuse me, girl. Mm -hmm. Don't want to see that. Going in with Red Ochre. I'm going a little bit further out where I initially placed that brown and I'm going over toward the brow. Now taking Cypress Umber and I'm gonna take this eyeshadow up in the same direction. On the lid, I'm going to take Warm Taupe. I crease and I'm kind of carving it out a little bit. Nothing too precise, but I'm making sure to kind of make that line right in the inner crease right there, a little bit sharper than I normally would. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off this powder. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lid with the Kat Von D Tattoo Ink Liner. I was gonna give myself a wing. Okay, so I ended up doing my wing liner off camera because I needed both hands for that. The one hand thing was not working. I'm going to use my Coco Lashes 501 lashes. I actually did not cut these lashes, so what I'm doing with them is placing them a little bit closer to where the wing is. So I'm placing the middle more so on the outer corner of my eyes, and I'm placing the end kind of where the wing is. And that also kind of gives your eyes like a, a wider effect. And that's kind of what this whole look was about, was just giving the illusion of like more lid space, bigger eyes. That's just kind of the look that I was going for today. Going back in with red ochre, I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit of love letter and place that in the crease as well. And I think it's gonna add to the cranberry effect that I was going for. Now I am taking Bon Fresco applying this to my inner corners here. On top of that, for the only shimmer on my eye, I'm going to take Vermeer. And I'm taking this eyeshadow because it has a lot of pretty purpley pink flecks and I think it's gonna look really nice on top of the Bon Fresco, so. Okay, now to contour the face, I'm going to be using my Tarte and Makeup Shayla palette. I'm taking both contour shades and I'm gonna use that to chisel. I'm not too crazy with the nose contouring. I just squeeze my brush. I'm gonna take this cranberry shade from this old NARS palette. It kind of goes with what we're doing here. And I always just put the excess on my nose. I can't give you a reason why, I just do it. That's just what I do. So I'm gonna go in with Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted. Wait a second, hold the phone. I did not put on highlighter. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. I'm 
I'm gonna spray my face with my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Okay guys, so that is all for this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And definitely subscribe if you guys want to see more content from me. Your girl has a new attitude, okay? She has new hair and she wants to film as much as possible, but I just really don't know exactly what to film right now, especially like regarding makeup. I'm not sure what type of holiday looks you guys may want to see. So let, just give me some ideas down below if you want to. I'm gonna leave my links to Instagram and Snapchat down below if you'd like to follow me, to be friends with me. Let's be friends, girl. Let's be friends, girl. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.